Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Photopea's new DALI tool to create artificial intelligent artworks, if that's what you want to call them. Um, just give you a little, little browse for some of the things that I've made with it. So I've used the new DALI tool on Photopea to create a goat riding a bike, a dog on the moon, And this one was some random words that I put in. I think I put in man red book flavor. And this is what was given to me for that one. Now, what exactly is Dali? Um, so before I show you how to use it very quickly, if you do a quick Google search of Dali, you'll find lots of information about it. But really basically on Wikipedia, it says that Dali are machine learning models developed by OpenAI, AI stands for artificial intelligence, to generate digital images from natural language descriptions called prompts. So that's what I put into Photopea when I was, uh, when I created these, I put in prompts. Now I'm using the words I created these um, quite loosely because did I create these? And these are questions that you need to be asking yourself. Um, can I say that these are my artworks or are these are these artworks that are completely um, random and not, nothing to do with my creativity and my input? But I'm going to show you anyway how to use it. You go to Window, More and you choose DALI. It does take a couple of seconds to load depending on how quick your computer is. And then basically in here you put prompts. So remember that is language descriptors and I put man, red, book, flavour. And I'm going to put another set of prompts in now. Um, I'm going to put, and these are just random words that are coming into my head. Worm, rat, ball, toy. Now, down here, you can choose the size. Now, you can see that it's set to 1024 by 1024 pixels, and that's creating these square images, but you can make it wider or taller. And you can also choose the count. Count is how many images do you want Dali to create? If you choose one, you'll get one. If you choose three, you'll get three. Um, I'm going to choose just, no, I might choose two for now. Um, I'm going to press create. Now, at this point, um, it does take a bit of time. And depending on the speed of your computer, it could take quite a while because the software is using its artificial intelligence to create something completely brand new. There we go. Oh, wow. Let me just put some of these on to show you a bit bigger so remember our prompts was worm rat ball toy again it does take a little bit of time for things to appear works quite slowly um, so this image has been created in collaboration if you like between me or you when you come to do it and artificial intelligence we're collaborating creatively is this the start of the new world order of art, creation, digital art? You decide. How can we use it? What can we use it for? How can it be useful to us? These are all questions that you need to ask yourself and more. Um, but whilst you're asking them, have a little play around with it. 